Jy luister na RSG Geldzake met MoneyWeb potgooie elke weekstag om 7 namiddag. Vir die belangrijkste sakenies, skakel in op RSG Geldzake. ACL Foods het vandag hulle financiële resultate vir die 6 maanden tot einde december verlede jaar gewys. ACL Foods besit groot name soos Oma Beskuit en Reinbouw, die tweede grootste verskaffer van hoener in Zuid-Afrika. Die maatskapijse omzet het met 8,4% gestuig na 20,1 miljard rand. Weesensverdienste per aandeel is met meer as 51% hoer na 81,2 cent. Ons gesels vanavond met Rob Field, die financiële hoof van ACL Foods. Goeienaand Rob, welkom weer by die program. Your figures look a bit different from when we spoke six months ago. Then you said you were focusing on getting the basics right and cutting costs, but it takes a while to reflect in the bottom line. Are we seeing that in these results? We certainly are. You know, as we find it, it's a pleasing set of numbers. We're on a journey in terms of restoring profitability in many parts of our business and at the same time reshaping our portfolio, which has been something we've been busy with for the last two years. And so pleasing progress, both in terms of results as well as um, moves with our portfolio. So why no dividend? Because to effect the unbundling, we need to be quite careful around the capitalization of both Rainbow, that'll go off as a separate listed entity, as well as the business that's left behind. So we really want that to settle out and make a sound decision in that regard. We have delayed our refinance of our debt package by a year, so that's due at the end of December. So there are a couple of moving parts, and so that's the reason for the pause. So headline earnings up. 51%. Did you expect the avian flu to have a bigger impact on your business? It certainly had a very big impact. There's no denying that. So it was one of the factors that dictated the timing of us going ahead with this. Obviously, there are very many moving parts in that chicken business. They've had to deal with many challenges, but their results demonstrate a resilience and a return to profitability. The new breed is almost entirely in now, which was one of the biggest steps that needed to be taken. So we quote a number of 184 million in terms of the impact of AI in the period. And so, you know, a lot of birds were killed. Fortunately, we knew and predicted that because it's an airborne disease that with the onset of summer, the heat and the rains, that it would dissipate, which it has done. So we feel like the timing is right now. Robson, taxes have gone up again on Sugar 2. How is that affecting you going forward? Yeah, so that's just a concern generally. You know, those have been starved off for the immediate term and our sugar business continues to perform well. I think it's more of an industry challenge that's playing out, obviously, with both Tongart and Gladau being in business rescue as we speak. There's a lot of challenges in the sugar industry generally. Our business continues to be a standout performer and demonstrates what can be achieved. So we certainly wouldn't welcome any hikes in the sugar tax because downstream and certainly the growers are the ones that affect it significantly. But all good for the moment. Last time we spoke, load shedding and your efforts to produce clean energy came up. Are you making progress there? Slow progress. We recognize that it is a path that we need to walk. It's an obvious one because we're sitting with latent potential there in terms of producing and exporting energy. Load shedding continues to have a very significant effect across the entire business. We quote a number in the order of 70 odd million in that regard as well for the period. So, yes, we are thinking about diversification opportunities to supply into the grid. There's some regulatory hurdles that we need to progress to achieve that but it is something that's on the radar screen for us. We talked about high food prices, inflation and challenging conditions last time. Still a difficult time ahead with the rates not really coming down, but the growth in your revenue is still higher than inflation. Does that leave room to cut food prices? It certainly does. I mean, I think one has to understand the input costs across our business broadly. And although we've seen some relief in the soft commodity markets, they're still at relatively high levels historically. And that's really going to be the only way that we're going to be able to share some of that benefit as that continues into the future. You can see that our margins are still fairly challenged and fairly low. They're certainly not at the levels that we aspire to deliver and we believe is possible. So we are trying to do the responsible thing in terms of limiting inflation. 
Obviously, a, a factor coming through in our overall numbers is both the restoration of volumes in the chicken side, the rainbow business. So we're seeing some revenue growth there. And within the sugar business, obviously, that's a regulated increase that's taken to the market. And that was in the order of 13 odd percent. But for the rest, I would say all of our grocery side, it is a real challenge. So we recognize the stress that consumers are under and trying to do the responsible thing and keeping those price increases as low as possible. Dank Rob, dit was Rob Field, financiële hoof van ACL Food. Skak, so hy sê die, die stijging in prijzen is so laag as moeilijk, maar met die winst wat hulle maak, behoort dat dan nie een verlaging in prijzen te wees, vooral as mens kyk waar die positie van die verbruiker vandag nie. Nee, het is, is, is definitief iets wat hulle met hulle direct na kyk, ons het vandag gehoor in IWI sy resultate ook, dat hulle maar inflasie aanskyf, maar ek moet, moet uitleg, ek denk het is belangrijk, dat mens moet het nie altijd jaar op jaar kyk hier, want mens kyk na um, RCL, sy is een wens voor belastings en dividende en sovoor, so met EBITDA, het hy baie sterk afbeweeg van 2022 na 2023, en die stijging wat ons nou vandag gesien het, is van laar vlakke van 2023 na nou toe. So, ek denk as een mens om weer normaliseer, jy weet van, kom ons noem het nou van 2021 af, uh, dit denk ek nie, dit is die verskrikke kareerse beweging, maar ja, jy is 100% recht, dit is iets wat een mens sommer kyk, het blijdend elke vorm te sien, dat is bezig om die honders uit te, uit te, uh, ek apart in die nieuwe fit te en ek kyk met interessantheid hierna. Jy het geluister na RSG Geldzake met MoneyWeb potgooie elke weeksdag om 7 namiddag. Vir meer MoneyWeb potgooie besoek moneyweb.co.za of laai die toepassing af en volg MoneyWeb News om dagelijks op hoogte te blijven.